um, asking New York millionaires how to make one million dollars by Noah Cake. Let's watch this shit. We are in the most expensive city in America, New York City. We just checked out a room here that was ten thousand dollars a night. How Damn. Many before this. Today, we're gonna find out by going up to New Yorkers and asking them, what do y'all do for a living? What kind of stuff do you guys do in New York? What was your career? Ship owning. What? Really? You own ships? Yes, mostly tankers. And you bought and sold tankers? Yes. Is that very lucrative? Uh, Wait, how do you own a ship? We just like, same thing with a car, I guess. Like you buy one, you sell one, you buy one, you sell one, just like that. There are good years and very challenging years. This is the only city in the world we could have started that business. Very impressive. It's special. What kind of company did you start? It's called Hyper Limestone, so I import limestone from Europe and the Middle East. We do high-end homes. How much does limestone cost? It used to cost me 5000 a container to ship it before the pandemic. Now it's 20000 God damn! When did damn. you feel like you made it in America? I wanted to make a million dollars before I turned 30, and uh, it turns out that was the easiest one to make. After that, it got harder. <laughs> It's been a really fun ride, but you know, success is different for everybody. It's like, what success? Is it a million? Is it 50 million? Is it 500 million? You know, it's, it's not a number. Okay, this is, this, this guy is very smart. It's very fucking smart. Why am I looking at that camera? This is the camera. This guy is fucking smart. Everyone has a certain number, you know, not a certain number, a certain level of success. You know, some people will be like, you know, if I own a house or maybe two houses, and a car and a happy family that's success to me you know and there's some people who aim is to like get a million and once they get that they're like what do i do now you know and that's a it's a it's a don't don't make getting a lot of fucking money don't make like uh what is it called money your goals i feel like in my opinion i feel like rather than just like doing that it's better off like finding goals where you could be like I'm doing this, 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 not to achieve this, like, uh, high, like, you know, this amount of money in my life, but like to like, you know, challenge myself and be good at something that I really love doing that I enjoy doing. Then you don't look at life as like competition. Then it's like something that you enjoy, enjoy doing. Right. And you could do it up to like your fucking 90 or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's not, you know, it's a, it's a, unless it's not a physical job or a profession, you know what I'm saying? It's more what makes you happy. But what does finance do? <laughs> I take people's money and try to give them more money back, essentially. <laughs> what do people make in that career? Hundreds of thousands. So if someone was just starting out, what would you recommend? I work hard, keep grinding. What was it like for you? A lot of hours, kissing ass, and you gotta make a name for yourself. That's the so thing. Farm, I can't do that. I can't kiss that. Like, I can't kiss asses. For me, I can't do that. Sorry guys, uh, I'm putting the chat now. Where are you from? Well, okay, I'm from, okay, my life is weird. I was born in Saudi Arabia. Then I lived in, in, in uh, then I lived in uh, Uganda. No, I lived in Eritrea, which is my parents' home country. And then I moved to uh, Uganda, lived there. And then moved to, uh, where did I move to? And now I'm, I'm here in Canada, so. Yeah, I guess I'm Eritrean. I called myself Eritrean, but I was born in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, that's where I'm from. Different states. We sell quite a bit of land in Texas. Love Texas. It's on East Africa. Is that a lucrative career, selling farmland? It's a good, good career. Excellent career. What kind of work are you in? I head up operations for North America for a English brand. We design and manufacture kitchenware products. Really? Which kind of product? It's a brand called Joseph Joseph. Anything chopping boards. Joseph, they have like the super famous cutting boards? Yeah, the, the multi, like lots oh, of colors. Oh, what the fuck? How'd you end up getting in that work? Many, I've been with the brand like 10 years. I started off in customer service. From customer service to like running all of North America? Yes. How'd you do that? Through hard work. And I was able to move up through different- Hard work and kissing asses, yes, which I can do. If someone was starting in their career, what would you recommend for them hard work getting in making sure you don't mind putting in the extra hours we thought it'd be easy to get some advice from the rich and wealthy that live in new york city so do you have a few minutes not right now no not right but the more we tried to approach them the more we got rejected but the people we met who weren't part of the super rich had some of the most inspiring stories okay let's just rent here so i paid 1200 literally right down here it's small it's like 70 square feet like damn super small 70, 70 square, feet. square. Yeah. I pay too much but i wanted to like live the new york experience so like Start out like small and then work your way up. And what do you do for work? Um, business development. And what do y'all do in New York? I'm in horticulture. Wait a minute, 70 square. What is that? I don't want to Google it. I don't want to ruin the fucking video, but like 70 square, that's equivalent to like. That's really small. That's crazy.
uh, gardening. I work at a baseball stadium, so I do all the grounds outside the stadium. Wait, you do, like, this <laughs> I'm still thinking about that. Does that mean he just can fit one bed, like one bed, like one bed frame, and that's it? Oh, you lived in New York before? I've never been in New York. I think. I wish I was in New York. I wish I could. Maybe hopefully. I'm. I'm. I'm still 21. I think I'm gonna experience living in New York. Like the grass, like the Mets. Or the How is it there, though? Mets, city field. What a, what a horticulture is tonight? Not enough. Six figures? No. Seventy-five. What kind of work do you do in New York? I do recruitment. What kind of people are you recruiting? So I do more in the fashion business. So. What does someone like that make as a recruiter? What's like the range of salary? Well, you have a base, and then you get commission. What was your first New York salary? Crazy. Do you remember the first paycheck? Thirty-four k. Whoa. Right, so we're taking a quick break from shooting, and I want to thank you guys for helping make this video happen. A few weeks ago, we were shooting a video in Miami, and shout out to those guys, but I'm not gonna watch the fucking ad. Keep hustling, bro. Ramp.com slash exclusive slash no occasion. Link below in the description. Uh, so what do you do in New York? So I do tech sales for a company called Octo. I'm a product manager at a property tech company as well. What, what are the range of salaries for these kind of tech companies? Upwards of like three, four hundred in a year. And then I know some people make around like 120. Dude, it's all over the place. Like depending on the job, like as a product manager, you'd say the low end is probably around a hundred. You guys at Google are probably making Why are they sad, bro? <laughs> oh my god. It's good because uh, there's always something to do, but living uh, living expenses is crazy. Yeah, I, I can only imagine, bro. I lived in Vancouver, and I feel like uh, Vancouver is like the same equivalent of like New York in a sense. Maybe Toronto is, but like Vancouver also is like that. I lived there. The, the amount of money I was paying for rent there compared to the air is crazy, dog. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm a graphic designer. I now work at Google. Like generally, how much do you make? He works at Google. When I first moved, I think I made like 80 grand a year or something like that. And she was in school and making no money. What would be your advice for someone that's new to come what? to New York? Come with friends. Be willing to live in like totally sh situations and take whatever job that you can. Take risks. Try new things. Push yourself. You know, I think playing it safe in New York doesn't get you very far. Are you Are you in tech or what do you do for? Like? I was trying to guess. I was like designer, architect. No, I work in finance. Oh, do you? Do you wear this to work? I've worn this to work, but I usually wear black pants. What kind of stuff do you do in finance? Asset management. Like, what are the ranges of salaries that someone could be? Starting out, I think the average wage is like 95K. What do you do for work? Uh, finance for Department of Education. Like the government? So like, I pay, I help pay for you a little bit. Basically. This is all of your tax three dollars. <laughs> what does the Department of Education do with finance? So I oversee special ed finance. Budgets in finance when it relates to uh, special needs kids. And how much money is that in the budget that you guys manage? I manage about six billion dollars. What? That is wild. Is that wild to you? How much would you be making if you were in private, you think? I want to say like 180, 200. What kind of stuff do you do in New York? What do you do for work? I'm a lawyer. I don't know if I want to be sued by you or have you as like my defense. A lawyer? What, what okay. kind of law? None of the above, yeah. I'm a corporate lawyer. What's the range of what a lawyer can make in New York? I think you see 50,000 to maybe 100. Oh yeah, there's different kind of lawyers. There's lawyers that you hire for like uh, big companies and there's lawyers for individual people. New York has so many opportunities. It's up. To you yeah i mean that's with everything though that's with every fucking everywhere like there's no handouts in any any city i think in my opinion and uh yeah and also why did you leave uh isaac why did you leave uh, uh new york uh, but if you're in the corporate space you probably make six figures what do you do in new york i'm a composer that is so cool what do you compose i comp Pose uh, music for uh, TV. Is there anything that we we okay. heard? Or... It was uh, the opening sequence on Shameless, a TV show. Oh, my girl in the show. What's a what top composer make? Like, well, I have no idea. Someone makes uh, shows. <laughs> I've heard it. Qua billions, but then it goes down to pennies per stream on like Spotify or whatever, like point oh 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 eight cents. And what, what do you do in New York? I'm a consultant for a healthcare company. I work with getting legalized medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. Really? How did you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Former client in the pharmaceutical industry sought me out. I, I work for CVS. I'm still here, just trying to figure out my career. Oh, okay, okay. You're still in New York. I thought you said. Oh, okay. You do live in New. York. For some reason, I thought I read it wrong. I thought you said I used to live in New York. It says I love living in New York. Okay, okay. You do. Okay. So how's it living there then? Like, what do you do for? 
I know it's it's it's, uh, it's kind of like a fucked up. I hate when people do that to me too. Oh, what do you do for a living, huh? Oh, okay, you do that. Oh, that's great. That's great. And uh, how how much money do you pay? And how much money do you get paid? And uh, and oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like everyone likes to size you up. I don't want to ask you that, but if you want to really, uh, you know, tell me what you do since we're talking about shit like that, it's up to you if you want to share that. But yeah, uh, that was a whole tangent. Television for 21 years, running their health division. What's the salary of someone like this? Is someone aspired to be a consultant? It's an IPO, so you know, pay isn't great, but there's the equity when it goes public. What kind of work are you in? I work in finance. Well, there's opportunities in every industry. How do you think you made it? Just hard work. You like to work, you come to New York. How much work is hard work? I'm a workaholic, but <laughs> I, I think in any field, like whether you're a lawyer, a banker, in New York City is a place, a magnet for people who like to work hard. Do you love what you do? I love what I do, yeah. That was great. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. What's been different and interesting about the story that we're not expecting? Damn. Just because I wish I was a workaholic, bro. There definitely indicates more than that. <laughs> and there's also a lot of people who are really wealthy that don't dress well. I just kind of love about how we judge. Maybe each that's other. not. Maybe that's not. The thing. I think. <laughs> I think I'm workaholic when it comes to the things that I love doing. You know what I'm saying? So sh let me do the things I want to do and let me get paid. Then I'll make a lot of money. I tried. Uh, I'm trying to become a real estate. Oh my God. If you land a job as a real estate in New York, bro, you're a, you're a billionaire, in my opinion, but 85% of people fail in real estate. Oh, damn. Well, uh, maybe I made a mistake. I just thought since the, there's a lot of fucking uh, housing problems in New York, being a real estate there means you make a lot of money. You know, when I tried to look for a uh, apartment in Vancouver, I hired a, I hired a, someone that, to find me an apartment. Just for the phone call, they made me pay. And for them to, to, to find a place for the meeting, blah, blah, blah. It's just so many extra stuff. But if you land that kind of job in New York, that's a, that's a gold mine right there, I believe, in my opinion. Definitely a lot of interesting people in New York. And I think one of the common themes from the variety of people that we got to chat with today was that all of them really said, you just got to keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love this video, keep you are going to like this video right up here okay. where we go talk to supercar owners and find out what they do for a living. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uncle Noah loves you and I'll see you out there. Whoa, you love me. Oh, I barely know you, bro. But like, okay, good looking, good looking. She don't believe in shooting stars, but she